Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about preservation of wet specimens. So wet preservation is a technique that stores specimens in various of solution. Here are some of the steps in wet preservation technique. Preservation of fish differs from invertebrate. Here are the steps. And now, here are the steps for the preservation of invertebrates. So now, let us look at the steps and techniques that are used in wet preservation. First, we have fixing invertebrate specimens. We start off by collecting pre-fixed specimens from the collection room. We have several different specimens including echinoderms, arthropods, and reptiles. Next, the specimen will be rinsed using tap water to clean off all of the excess ethanol. After that, we're gonna be assigned tags to the specimen and we immediately measure and weigh the specimens. Then, we're going to take the scientific photograph by using a copy stand and a digital camera. All of the specimens will be taken a photograph with ruler and their tag number for future references. Now, let's see how do we fix fish sample. So first, we need to defrost the fish and then rinse it by using tap water. After that, we're going to be assigned tag for it. And after that, we're immediately going to measure and weigh the size and length of the fish. Next step, we're gonna be extracting the DNA from the fish. So for this step, we're gonna use a centrifuge tube and then take the fish tissue samples and store it for later on analysis. Moving on to the next step, we have the fin spreading method. This is to ensure that the fin of the fish will be preserved by the ethanol. Followed by the fin spreading, we are going to be using a brush to apply the preservation solution to the fish fin. After that, we will take a scientific photograph of the fish by using copy stand and digital camera. Fish will be stored in formalin for several days. We are using 10% formalin. Then after that, we're going to rinse the formalin off from the fish and then proceed to identify the fish. 
and lastly we're gonna be store the specimen so the specimen will be stored in a glass jar this method apply to both fish and invertebrates last step of preservation in RRC is to record the fish specimen in the database so that's all for this lab see you next time bye